Hi, my name is Abraham Manun. I'm the founder of Cortels, and I'm here to talk to you about our inception learning platform. Today, you can learn almost anything on the internet through watching videos, tutorials, and you even have uh, universities that have uploaded their course content online. And that's a cool thing. However, the abundance of educational online content also promotes individual, boring, passive learning, which can lead to courses being incomplete because people have to utilize their time without any supervision. For advanced learners, this is a great opportunity, it's a great option. However, if you're anything like me and you've ever struggled to learn something by yourself, sometimes you find that you need a teacher's support with a community of peers around to motivate and push you on. Studying by yourself means you need to have strong self-motivation and good time management skills, which not all of us have. So which option do you choose? The idea was what if we could combine the best features of traditional learning, such as real-time, engaging, active, person-to-person -person interactivity, with the innovative features of modern technology, such as scale, convenience and access. We are providing an Africa-centric solution to a local problem. The reason for this is because we want to manage the challenge of availability of reliable internet. Over the years, we learned that code empowers equally and provides leverage, you know, regardless of who you are, you know, where you're from, or even your age. But perhaps what most people don't understand about code is that there's a little bit of something in it for almost anyone. I've seen celebrities, pop stars, rock stars, basketballers, fashion models. You have kids in Tanzania, you have girls in South America. It's really appealing. And at one point I saw President Obama trying it out. What is the most efficient way to sort a million 32-bit integers? <laughs> well, uh... Maybe I, I, I'm sorry. Maybe no, we no, 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 no. I, 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 I think that's not a. That's I, not I, a I think uh, I think the uh, the bubble sort would be the wrong way to go. Uh, Come on, who told him this? That was a brilliant message. Girls should learn this too. Understanding coding is a weapon. It's like a superpower. Give it a shot. You write some lines of code and you're expecting some kind of result from the computer and then you wait and you know you did everything right. This thrill of expectation and being on the edge really gets you. I see this a lot with uh, football when people are watching soccer. Every time they come towards the opponent's goal you're thinking are they going to score or not? Are they going to score? And then maybe they score, maybe they don't and it goes back and forth. And when it works out, in your head is like fireworks, cars honking, people cheering, applause and all that. It's boom, like you've made it, that's your Eureka moment. And finally, when you see the results, it gives this feeling of, I did that. I gave the computer some instructions and it followed them step by step. I programmed the computer. And it's a feeling of accomplishment. But then you look around and then you realize there's no one there. It's just you. It's 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. And just like that, I discovered my happy place. And that's how I got hooked. That's why I still do it today. When we were getting in, we thought, yeah, this will be just for fun. However, once you start realizing, you know, all the possible things that you can do, the next question is, can I also create a website or an app for someone out there that they could use and it could help them in their business or in whatever they're doing? You can have an idea, but it's just that. It's an idea, however great it is. What makes it work is if you can turn it into some real tangible thing that can make things happen. And that is where code comes in. We all want to create something with our own hands. And in this case, maybe with our minds. 
we never set out to be experts in anything really you know we were just simply amazed at what code could do and we were held in wonder you know. when you are that curious the next thing is you start asking questions like what if i could do that you know, the learning just came naturally and we just took it on step by step this gentleman walked in he was waiting for a meeting with the headmaster so he came to the lab where i was and he noticed i was surfing the internet that's what we used to call it back then we had this slow dial-up connection using modems at the time he asked to borrow the computer which i obliged he sat next to me so i could see what he was doing logged in into his bank account looked at me and saw how curious i was and he asked so do you want to know what just happened of course i wanted to know what happened and he goes on to explain that it's like he just walked into his bank building which was on another continent in another country and he checked on a transaction and also initiated another another transaction that of course blew my mind because of where we were at the time we were in the middle of nowhere in a village in mokono i sat there thinking wow how is that possible i thought about the internet there was no wires connecting to the other side of the world and then he goes on to say the reason why this is possible is because of some code that was written in the browser by people called programmers and that was my bulb moment i was like ah okay so i need to learn how to code in order to do this The journey since has been what you'd expect, ups and downs, dips and curves, twists and turns, but mostly fun. I've built great websites and in a way I discovered myself. It's really because of code. But I never thought I could ever push myself to come and speak in front of people on a camera. When I decided to learn this, say, okay, how do you speak in front of camera? Because I wanted to share what I know about code and i joined uh, the toastmasters it's a group that helps people learn how to be public speakers and make presentations and my very first speech i invited my wife i invited my friends i invited people who have supported me over the years and have been close to what i'm doing right now i think maybe one minute or so into the speech i froze because yeah. i lost all I forgot all the words. I was told that maybe it was 15 seconds or more of just looking at the audience and the audience was looking at me. I didn't know what to do, but end of the story was I composed myself. I finished the speech and it was, it was awkward. Yeah, it was awkward. But today I'm here speaking to you about the same thing. Most of this attitude of not giving up, going again, the attitude of creating and recreating yourself and acknowledging that you're always better than your last mistake or failure. I got it through coding. For example, you've heard of something we call updates or you've heard of uh, something we call patches when we're writing code. So it means that when we fail, we don't actually fail. We just think, okay, we'll write a patch for it or we'll write an update for it and that's what happens so you hear about viruses and antiviruses yeah. of course now i have uh, different motivations for sharing this i have a little girl who really looks up to me like i'm their hero like anything else in life we we are always learning and so that got me thinking but if I have a skill now that I can leave for her, I can give her something that would put her in a better place 10 years or five years from now than I was because I have already learned how to go around the hoops and the loops, the gatekeepers that I had to go through. Maybe it was harder for me given my environment and my situation, but for her and her generation, it could be easier if they had a, a mentor or someone to guide them into learning the skill. As we speak right now, you're watching me through video that's all code. You're probably watching it on, uh, on a browser somewhere or on the internet, on your phone. It's all code. You know, there's some code running in the background. When you Google things, when you're on 
you're on Netflix, when you're on uh, Spotify. What is the most effective way for a layperson to understand how code works? It's one thing having the knowledge, but you need to practice. Then you need to come up with interesting ideas. How great are they? Do people want to hear about those ideas? We don't just code for the sake of coding, but there are things that we can learn beyond just writing the code itself. You learn decision-making, project management, how to think critically, how to develop your ideas into real systems that other people can interact with. You learn teamwork, you know, because no one knows it all. So therefore, as coders, we work in teams. This slow accumulation of knowledge, skills, and incremental improvement you know, in work habits is part of the whole process. So at Codetails, we've started this movement you know, to share the same sense of uh, wonder curiosity and imagination. In the next series of videos, I will show you how you too can create your own website and host it onto the internet. So I know you have ideas of your own and you've probably been wondering how you can execute it. So here's an opportunity for you to create something that is uniquely yours. I hope you can come on this journey with us and we shall be creating amazing things together. Bye for now.